We're in the studio today with Garrett Tuggle. Garrett, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jason. No problem. All right, uh, question number one. Uh, you you seem to know a little bit about fitness. You uh, you used to be overweight, is that correct? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could. I guess you could say that. I'm funny. Six I, foot. I was yeah. once two hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, it's not. That's funny. what I was. I was five foot ten, two hundred fifty pounds. Well, you so, so you were bigger because yeah. you were shorter than me. Question is, uh, what exactly? Like, what happened that made you want to change your body? Or, you know, start losing weight, start looking better, and how did you achieve it? Man, uh, I think everyone gets to a point in their life where, especially, you know, the age we're at, I'm 21 now, that was uh, nearly three years ago. So, kind of got to the point in my life where I was like, all right, I'm going to start changing some stuff. Wasn't happy with the way I looked, obviously, when I woke up every morning. Uh, I wasn't happy with the way I felt. I was tired all the time. Um, certain things happened in my life where I felt like I needed to change, and I started with uh, my body. So transform the body transform the mind you know all that how do you stay motivated like when you don't feel oh, you know gosh. you don't feel like getting up going right. to the gym you feel like the world sucks <laughs> everyone around you is stupid <laughs> uh what do you what do you do then um every morning uh, you have to kind of trick yourself into being motivated you know sometimes you, it becomes a thing where you know after you build a habit of something your day doesn't feel complete without it so um you know, the first two or three months is really just about building the habit. And then uh, as far as the motivation the motivation goes, you just kind of kind of wake up and say, if I do this, it'll be worth it. If I don't do this, I'm going to feel guilty. <laughs> right. It's like after so long, you get that switch turned off in your head. Yeah. Yeah. You can't live without it. Right. You can't live without it. And it's like you have to go to the gym. You're like, oh. Yeah, so I guess it's, at some point it becomes not about motivation but necessity. Yeah. So what's your nutrition like right now? Right now, are you currently like bulking, uh, cutting? I've been. I'm more at a maintenance slash cut at the moment. It's so spring break coming up. Sure, right. right. Yeah, in like twenty days. Um, yeah. As far as my nutrition goes, man, I, it's really the same um, whether I'm bulking or cutting as far as what I eat generally. But it really, really comes down to my goals. It's about calories. Right. Um, anyway, slides. I don't care if you're, you know, bulking or trying to gain weight for those who no, I don't know what that means, um, or trying to cut or lose weight, you know, it's still not a good idea to eat Oreos and right. chocolate cookies and Doritos, whatever. It um, doesn't really matter what your goals are. So when it really comes down to it, you know, a lot of protein, a lot of um, healthy carbs. Um, healthy fats. Healthy fats. Got to get them healthy fats in there. Yes, sir. Peanuts. Peanuts. I love peanuts. As a matter of fact, this morning I ate about, you know, five or six handfuls of peanuts. So. That's no, you're a real trooper. It's <laughs> <laughs> really just what about uh, whatever your calories are are at. You know, eat clean and uh, stay away from the junk food. What is your current split or current workout split. regimen like uh, the, through the week? Take me through the week. Right, Mondays squats, deadlifts, and calf raises. So you know, pretty well uh, leg day uh, for the most part with some some core training in there. Um, Tuesdays is upper body, so I use uh, free weight dumbbells um, and bench press, incline, decline, flat, um, high reps, uh, medium weight. Wednesday, I focus on uh, a little bit more upper body, except some areas that I might not have hit on my free weight days, such as the delts and the traps. Um, I use pull-up bar to yeah, kind of hit those Artie, areas. Tom Hardy traps, Yeah, so man. I get that, that warrior, that Bane action yeah. going. And um, also abs I hit on Wednesdays. Thursdays, back to free weights, dumbbells, uh, and bench press. And then on Friday, I do what kind of I call an endurance test, more or less. Um, especially when you've been cutting for a long time, your energy levels tend to drop. And, and um, if you don't maintain a level of, of endurance throughout your workouts, you will lose a lot of endurance completely. So on Fridays, I hit every machine in the building um, on usually around 10 reps at a medium weight, which usually takes about an hour or so to do. But it's really just wearing wearing the body out and uh, making sure that your endurance levels stay That's right. kind of where you want them. Uh, do you take any supplements or uh, like what do you recommend? Like. I know I, whey protein. That's I take uh, yeah I, I I take whey protein, which for all of those who 
don't really know a lot about it. I know before I started, I didn't know that much about it. I thought it was it did a lot more than it actually does. Really, all it is right. is just a, a a convenient way to help get your protein in for the day. I mean, it's just food. That's it's right. Because uh, not everybody can afford to buy a whole chicken every day. Exactly. You know? Exactly. I mean, there's no difference in eating a chicken, uh, you know, chicken breast and, and drinking two scoops of whey protein as far as what it's what it's doing for you in the gym. Um, so whey protein is just food. Mm-hmm. I don't really even consider it a supplement. But uh, as far as supplements go, creatine is the only thing I use. Which is and a lot of people like to use pre-workouts like that. I don't use pre-workout. I don't. Uh, I haven't gotten to the point yet where I feel like I'm justified in using the pre-workout. As long as I can make it on my own steam, I will. Um, but uh, a lot of people have a lot of success with pre-workouts. And right. I sh- that's something I'll probably do eventually. Creatine, I, f- I feel, is probably the most useful and it's important most scientifically proven right right yeah. creatine one hundred, and it's cheap i mean you get a lot That's of bang right. for your buck it basically it's going to give you extra energy atp it's going to make you look fuller it helps you hold more water and um so yeah creatine is really the only technically supplement that i use yes, i would sir. say what is the best piece of advice you can give to someone who wants to start lifting or start changing their body um I've trained a lot of people in weightlifting, um, people that had no idea, uh, you know, what they were doing when they went in there and everyone has these preconceived ideas about what it's going to be like when they go in there. They know it's going to be tough. They know, you know, it's going to be painful. Don't always know how painful and how tough, but you know, and they think the biggest misconception is, is how fast the results come as a natural bodybuilder. Uh, it takes years. I mean, I've been doing it for three years and I'm still not where you know i want to be i don't think you you can ever really be fully satisfied but still not where i want to be so the biggest thing i would say is patience um uh being willing to hit you know hit the gym every day be consistent and have the patience to know that it's not going it's not something that's going to happen overnight or even over a period of weeks you know it's going to be months it's going to be years as far as the results come but if you're consistent it will come and the next thing i would say is humility um a lot of people i've trained they want to go in there and start with weights that they really, they can do, but they have terrible form with them. Yeah. Um, they usually hurt themselves or whatever. So I would say low weight, um, you know, be humble in there. If you're just now starting out, you know, don't act like you're, you've been at it for a while. No one's going to judge you. You know, so humility, um, consistency and patience, I would say are the top three things I would encourage in someone who's, who's getting ready to start. Very nice. Very good advice. Which do you recommend, uh, bodybuilding or strength training or you know, somewhere in between? I think a hybrid is the most useful. You get the functional strength and then you, um, you know, everyone wants to look good. Right. Right. And um, bodybuilding has a lot of health benefits as well. Obviously, there's people who take it overboard and, you know, aren't healthy um, in the way they do it. But being, you know, having a low body fat percentage, having, um, you know, good cardiovascular you know, it, it's it's all healthy. You know, bodybuilding. You know, it, it, if you do it right, it can be very healthy. Strength training, obviously, it's nice to be strong. It's nice to have right. um, the ability to, to move lots of weight if you need to, and it has a lot of you know health benefits as well. And they do go hand in hand to a certain extent, but mm-hmm. a lot of times it you know it'll come down to where you know to the decision which one do you want to you know kind of pursue. And I would say a hybrid, a hybrid of the two is probably your best bet. Uh, last question: uh, Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> You're looking kind of small here. I mean, what do you weigh? Like 130? Uh, I'm 135. I'm in, 135. I've been on. I've been on bulk. You're so. seven foot two, 135. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, thanks for thanks for joining us. No problem, man. Very, thanks for having me. It's been a very good interview. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. I'll see you.